video, I am going to be showing the process of building a new hydraulic hose. Now, in a hydraulics shop situation, usually there's an existing old hose that's being reproduced. In this moment, I am just creating some new hoses for a joystick kit. So, what I have is the information for building the hose. The information I have is just written on this piece of paper here. I've got the type of the hose, the diameter of the hose, the length of the hose, and then the size and the style of the fittings on both ends of the hose. And from that information, I am able to build a new hydraulic hose. And in this video, I am going to be showing the steps for doing that. For each hose, there's just three items that are needing, needed. You're going to have your two fittings and then the hose itself. Here I have the two fittings that will be on the ends of this hose. This fitting has a 90 degree end. This one is a straight fitting for the style. They're actually both the same size and style of the fitting itself. This is a number eight JIC thread. Here we're taking a closer look at the fittings in relation to how they are attached to the hose. So for each hit fitting, there'll be this line that is where the edge of the crimp begins. And then a really important thing that you always have to measure before you make a hose is the length of the shoulder, which is where the hose will end. And through, in the case of a 90, halfway, the midpoint of the fitting here. So that measurement and then this measurement that needs to be deleted from the length that you're cutting the hose. So for example, in this situation, I'm going to be building a 150 inch hose. So that's going to be, the length of the hose is going to be from the center of the 90 degree fitting to the tip of this fitting is 150 inches. But of course what I'm cutting is going to be minus the section where the hose doesn't go on the fitting there and there. So in this situation, this length plus this length equals three inches. And so I'm going to be taking, I am going to be cutting a hose that's 150 inches minus three inches. So that would be 147 inches of hose that I'm cutting. I'm going to be using a half inch hose here and the type of hose is R17. This is going to be a very common hose used for tr farm tractors, which is mainly what I work with. What I'm going to do now is measure out 147 inches of this hose and cut it. So this is the cutter that I'm going to be using for cutting the hose. First, I've got my eye protection on and protective gloves. So to just quickly explain this machine, this is the blade. The hose will go right here. I will turn it on when the hose is ready, and then I will push this up to press the hose into the blade, which of course protects my hand. So here I've marked the 147 inch mark, which is where I'm going to cut. So I pull back the lever. Now the reason that these, these two pegs here is to keep the hose bent as it's being pushed into the blade and that helps prevent the blade from binding. There's the freshly cut hose and the beautiful smell of burning rubber. I have my cut hose now, which is 147 inches long. And remember the total length needs to be 150 inches. So those extra inches will be made up with the fittings that we put on. So the fittings will be going on both ends of this hose. And so the next step is going to be getting the fitting slid onto the hose all the way and then crimping each fitting. When a hose has 
one straight fitting and one 90 degree fitting, like in this case, you'll always want to start with a 90 degree fitting. And when we start to crimp it, you'll, it'll make sense why we always start with this, with a 90 degree one first. So just to explain again, the hose is going to be slid up all the way to the shoulders of the fitting. And this can be a little bit tricky to make sure this happens. So it's always ideal before starting to slide the fitting onto the hose to mark where the hose should go to. I like putting a 90, the 90 degree fitting in the vise. It's not, notice it's not super tight or anything. It just gives it a nice um, ledge to press against as I'm pushing the hose on. And then bef before I am going to attach the fittings to the hose, I'm going to blow the hose out just to make sure there's no contaminants inside it after cutting it. Then the next step is going to be to lubricate the hose so that it slides onto the fitting more easily. So we've got oil in a little sponge in a cup here, and so I just dab that onto the hose. And then remember that yellow line needs to be all the way to the edge here. Definitely takes some muscle sometimes. Okay, so it's all the way on because the yellow line is down to the edge. So th this machine is the crimper. Now every fitting brand is going to have a specific crimp that it needs. And so I am using a very crimp fitting right now. And so I'm referencing the information on this. So I'm working with the R17 type hose and it's a half inch hose. So my crimp diameter is going to be 0.835 and I'm going to use die number two and I'm going to be crimping it to somewhere between 1000 and 1200 PSI for the pressure. That's when I release the pedal. So this is the number two die and it needs to be placed in there. This is the pedal with which I control cylinder and the lever when I push the lever back or to the left the cylinder goes to the left and when I push the lever and when I push the lever to the right and press the pedal then the cylinder goes to the right so here I'll be removing the die that is currently in here and replacing it with the correct die that I need Now, as I mentioned, we're, I'm starting with crimping the 90 degree fitting. So this 90 degree is not going to fit through the die. 
Like I was, it's not gonna work to push it in from the end very well. So instead what I do is I I start with the end that doesn't have a fitting on yet and I thread it through from this side and then thread the 90. So it's a little bit hard to see in the video, but that line on the fitting needs to line up with the edge of the die. And so what I'm going to be doing here as I'm starting to activate the crimper is I'm going to be making sure that that little line there stays lined up with the edge of the die. Got this hand over here holding the hose because I want to be pushing this way on the hose to make sure that it's staying seated well inside the fitting and then with this hand over here I'm making sure that this line is staying lined up with the die so now I'm going to Now I'm watching the pressure go up as the hose is being crimped and right at 1100 I release the pedal and what that means is this fitting down here has been crimped to the correct pressure which means that the fitting will not blow off the end of the hose. What I'm doing now is backing up the cylinder inside the crimper to release the fitting. And then I'll be pulling the hose back out this way because again, it has the 90 degree fitting on it. So it's not going to slide through that way very well. The last thing to check for on a crimped hose after crimping it is just making sure that there's no gaps between the crimped fitting and the hose. If there is a gap, that would mean that it was crimped incorrectly and when the hose would need to be remade. I'll be following pretty much the same process with this fitting. The only difference is this is a straight fitting, which makes it a little easier to work with for both sliding it onto the hose as well as crimping it. Again, I am going to mark Again, I'm going to mark the depth to which the hose should be pushed into the fitting. Now because this is not a 90, it does rest really nice on the workbench, so I don't need to use the vise for this one. I'm going to lubricate my hose. Okay, looking at my reference mark, I know that the fitting is on all the way, which means the hose is pressed up against the shoulders of the fitting. What's nice about a straight fitting is it can just be put right in the end here instead of threading the holes all the way through like I had to do with the 90. And then the die, of course, is staying the same because I'm working with the same size here as the other end.
So this actually shows it a little bit better from this angle, lining the line of the fitting right up with the edge of the die. Okay, so the straight fitting has been crimped. And then again, because it's a straight fitting, it will pull out super easy. So I'm just going to loosen the die and then pull it up. And then double checking. Just double checking to make sure there's no gaps, which there's not. So this has been crimped to the correct pressure and this hose is complete. So this is the completed hose. Its total length is 150 inches. It has both ends crimped onto it and it is ready to go. So in this video, what I showed you was the basic components that are needed to make up the hose as well as the equipment for cutting and crimping the hose.